the magic of life becomes perceivable when there's no longer a veil of concepts kind of blocking you from the direct perception of what is. So in many of these spiritual traditions, they talk about basically becoming more one with the present moment in the sense that you're becoming more aware of what's going on around you and your surroundings. It's a common spiritual practice. And in that sense, you get a stronger, more vibrant perception of life. I got started in magic after seeing magicians on TV as a kid. My mom had told me to turn on ABC Family and uh, there was a special of the world's greatest magic, as it was called. And I was just totally blown away, captivated, immersed. Okay, make a fist with your left hand like this. And you can relax your right hand. We're gonna try to connect, okay? You've heard of voodoo before? You connect one object to another object with unseen forces. So we're gonna try to connect. Tell me if you feel this. Did you feel anything? You did a little bit, didn't you? Because yeah. the X didn't even appear here. Open your hand. Oh, no way. The name Justin Sight came through a back and forth uh, with a friend of mine. I was actually at a uh, meditation retreat. We were basically, I was saying, I wanted a name that would encompass uh, the fact that I was legally blind, somehow have a hint to that in the name, but also that uh, there is this kind of mystical thing that I'm passionate about. I think it's the common kind of drive that is within all people, whether it's recognized or whether it's...